Welcome to the ECDL Word Processing Module, Section 2.1.1. Here we need to understand how to switch between page view modes. If we go into Microsoft Word, there are three different page views which you need to be aware of. All of them can be found in the View tab of the ribbon at the top. So if you click on View, and then on the left-hand side, you'll see this section here, which outlines the different views that you can use. Now, as I said, there are three that you need to be aware of. The first one is the one we're looking at right now. It's called Print Layout. You can see it's selected here. And what Print Layout does is show us the document as it would look when we print it off. So you can see the edges of the paper. If I zoom out, you can see the different pages. So we can see exactly what this document will look like uh, if we were to print it out. All the colors are there, the fonts, the layout, and everything else. So that's Print Layout. Now the other two that you need to be aware of are Outline and Draft. We'll tackle Draft first of all. If I click on Draft, what you'll see is that we just see the text. So a lot of uh, the potentially distracting formatting, images, pictures, diagrams, all of that sort of stuff is uh, removed and we can now just simply concentrate on the text. So if you want to just focus on the text and sort that out, Draft allows quick and easy editing of text. That's its main purpose. The third different view which you need to be aware of is Outline. Now, whereas Draft mode allows you to focus on just the text and getting the text right, Outline allows you to look at the overall structure of your document, including the order of sections or items or objects within your document. What you can see here is I've got my main title at the top, then I've got a paragraph one, paragraph two, and then I've got this blank area here, uh, which has this little gray circle on the left-hand side. This is my chart. If I just quickly go back to print layout, you can see I've got title, paragraph one, paragraph two, then I've got a chart, and then my paragraphs continue underneath. In outline mode, we don't see that, but we do see all the paragraphs, we see where the objects are, uh, and we see the order of everything. And you can obviously still click and edit in the text if you want to. But the main purpose of this lies in these grey circles on the left hand side. Now you can see that as I place my mouse over these grey circles, my mouse turns into the four way black arrow, which you may be familiar with, um, allows you to click and grab items. So this mode here, the outline mode, allows us to change the order of sections of our document. You'll see that this second paragraph here, which begins with a word uh, beginning with M, these are obviously all made up, fabricated words, this isn't any language here, uh, but you can see that paragraph two begins with a word uh, that starts with an M, and my first paragraph begins with the word lorem. Now if I wanted to change the order of those two paragraphs, no highlighting, clicking, cutting, pasting, anything like that, all I do is grab the little grey circle here and drag it up and drop it there. So I've now swapped those two documents over. I can do the same thing with the chart here. Maybe I want the chart to appear just after my first paragraph. So I click on the grey circle, drag up there, and drop it. So outline mode allows you to quickly and easily change the order of the items within your document. To come out of outlining mode you can either click this close outline view button here or you can also go to the view tab and choose the alternate view that you want either draft or print layout. Let's go back to print layout and you can see here that I've now got my uh, paragraph at the top. This was my second paragraph, but now it's moved up to the top. There's my chart, which I moved position. And here, the third item in my document is what was originally my first paragraph. So three different moves, uh, three different views here. Print layout, draft layout, which is for text editing, and outline, which is for changing the structure and organization and order of the document as a whole.